17 years after authorities say he murdered two women in Volusia County, an accused serial killer has a court date. Now lawyers for both sides are deciding how the disturbing evidence can be used during the trial. News Six's Mark Lehman explains. Today's hearing surrounded nearly a dozen motions about what will and won't be allowed during the murder trial of Robert Hayes. The judge also going through procedural issues as that date is quickly approaching. Accused serial killer Robert Hayes appearing by video conference for a pretrial hearing this morning. Something happening because of a quarantine at the Volusia County Jail. And I've been notified that either you or somebody in your cell block uh, may have had COVID. Hayes is suspected of killing three women in the Daytona Beach area between 2005 and 2006. DNA evidence linking him to the crimes last year after he was already charged with killing a 32-year-old woman in Palm Beach County in 2016. During today's hearing, 11 motions were discussed. The judge ruling certain things will be allowed at trial, like autopsy photos and evidence of drug use by the victims. I find it that it is relevant that uh, all of these uh, victims have some sort of uh, positive toxicology. The state, however, won't be allowed to discuss other items like Hayes' employment history and social media postings. All of this coming as both sides are preparing for jury selection, which is expected to face difficulties because of the pandemic. Another thing that was discussed during the hearing was a diary from Hayes that was discovered by investigators. The judge said he hasn't decided if that will be allowed. Hayes' murder trial is set for next month. For now, reporting in the newsroom, Mark Lehman, getting results, News 6.